Hey, it's Joe Glines in this video on controls with auto hotkey. I'm going to demonstrate three, walk through three coming in. So there's the control get position, control get focus, and control focus. Um, I have the descriptions of what they do here, and obviously the, the names are very intuitive, right? It's one of the benefits of auto hotkey. But let's say we wanted to get position. So let's actually let's do focus first. So control. If I could spell control get focus. So this is going to return what one we're focused on, right? What the user or the program itself, where the caret is. So I'll store it in var, um, the wind touch. So this will be, we'll use our little simple spy tool here to make sure we pop up in here and we get the right thing. Let's go ahead and use, we'll use the, this one for that. Um, and let's throw this into a message box to show us what it returns back. Oh, it would help. Now you have to actually be in something, right? That's the, the trick here. So this is saying, I, oh, hey, I'm in the edit one. If I run it again, oh, I'm in edit two and edit three. Actually, you can use it on other things too. So I'm down here. This is a combo box, the fifth combo box on this um, window. Um, I This probably, oh, that's still, did I, let me try that again. Huh, I would have thought that would have been the combo box, but um, let's see what happens if we click over here. It's still edit two. That's interesting. I would have thought that would have been. Let me see if I drag this into here. What's that? Oh, that is listed as a combo box. It's interesting. So you might have to do a little bit of work of detecting that. But um, one of the ways I'd be you, you say why? What good is this? Well, if uh, if you're trying to detect, if you're automating a program and you think you're somewhere and you're not, right? That to me, this is a great way to say when I'm automating and I can bulletproof it where I can detect where I am and make sure. I'm in the control that I think I am before I try sending a given command or text or whatever there, right? So that's the control get focus. Let's uh, comment that out. Um, so now let's, after the, let's go ahead and focus. So control focus. And let's say I'm gonna do edit two because we know that's a thing. And um, again, let me just borrow from this because I'm lazy. I don't need the message box. So now we should see Notice the font style that was the edit two, right? So this will help us. And this is where I was saying is like, if you were programmatically doing this, you might want to add the control get focus after you do this um, and have some error checking to make sure, you know, right, that it's in there. Um, so that's the, so we did the focus and now get position. So let's say we, the thing wasn't good about receiving text or doing what we want. So you might still get the position. Um, so we'll, we'll leave the focus on there and control get position um this is gonna i oh wait a minute Get retrieves the position and size of a control okay so i think it's going to store it in these variables this will be interesting i haven't i haven't used this right i don't do this stuff a lot but x y sure i'm just going to take the default things here um control control is going to be edit two and that is that still on the clipboard yes okay so now if if i'm right i'm gonna do a message box um and first put x y let's just do the first two and see what happens oh good so all right it worked the way i was kind of an, it, it's weird you'd think that would tell you like hey we're storing this as a variables x and y it's given you possible names but now that I think about it, those are what it's returning it. So um, you can, it, it does make sense, right? It's, this is the X value is what it's trying to tell you. You can call that whatever, we could call this X var, right? And then change this to X var and it still works fine. Um, and so that will return the coordinates um, and the height and width of what you're doing, right? So, um, if you're trying to find where it is and you want to descend uh, a certain event to it or whatever, this this can give you that location, um, a position and things about it. So uh, that's it for for this session. We're at next one. I think we're going to get in and get. There's a lot of other stuff you can use the control get for. That's the next one I'm going to cover here, and I think it's pretty awesome. So check it out. Cheers.